morning, good, early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back. I'm actually gonna go get uh, COVID tested. Um, it's early, and I hope I'm get. I'm trying to get there an hour before it opens, so we shall see. Um, but yeah, I don't feel sick, but I think just because of us going to Springs and Universal, and more so me going to the protests, that I need to get tested and then potentially continue to get tested every like week or two um, for the time being. All right, so we're in a line, I'm parked. I'm about to pull my work laptop. I brought my a book, I brought my work laptop to do a little bit of work. Um, there's two different lines here. That is at least for the antibody or both. I'm in a line just to do the COVID test, the throat swab. Um, so it says it was open, it was an hour wait, but it also opens at nine. So maybe it's not technically open and they're just saying that right now, but we're just chilling. So I'm gonna pull the laptop out and get to work. All right, here we go. I'm writing a little bit of Excel program on my work laptop. And we are rock and roll. I think I'm like the fifth or sixth car, so maybe this will be quicker than I thought. All right, that was super simple. I mean, I'm, I'm like registered. I got my little baggie there. I have to go follow the cones to the garage, and that's what I'll do it. And I say in 72 hours, I'll have my results. Well, well, that was super simple. It was a throat swab, not a nasal swab, and I was good to go. Um, it's 9:15. It opened up at nine. So, super simple, super easy. I think I'm gonna try to go to the P.O. box before I head home. So I gotta figure out the directions because I get confused on the side of the orange, the uh, Orange County Convention Center. 72 hours before I find out. I got one package, I think I know what this is. I think it's from my sister. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh. It is a petunia pickle bottom diaper bag, backpack. Oh, I gotta get at this home so Sarah can play with it and we can check it out. I'm like a little pit stop, see if I can get a little weekend breakfast treat for Sarah. Hello. Oh yeah, you haven't been in the vlog yet. <laughs> no. It's been um, hours. Yeah, I finished the vlog. Peter did all of the dishes feel good he's gonna do a little bit of work I'm actually did you talk about like our crazy schedule today no okay I will um so I have acupuncture at two Peter's got protests at three so I'm cooking dinner for me now well dinner for both of us really but Peter's gonna eat it before he goes but I'm gonna get acupuncture so I'm cooking early I got over here and everything was just chaos super hot um, my water is boiling, I have rice, and then I'm going to make fajita veggies. Started with onion and garlic and a little bit of veggie stock. I'm gonna add in two peppers, and we're gonna have some fajita bean burritos for dinner, along with the soup. I am sorry if the dishwasher is a little bit loud. Um, I'm letting the peppers cook a little while longer, but I did find a fajita seasoning um, recipe online. I don't have any like packets of it at home and it's really simple. It's a tablespoon of cornstarch, two teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. I will link that below um, but that's how I'm gonna smuck up the peppers and then the beans, I might just add some hot sauce, just simple, because it's all just gonna go in the burrito tortillas together. Um, but it'll be simple for us to each just put the burritos together when we have the time. All right, here we go. Bigger protest, like group today. See some more cops out. Sarah just dropped me off. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water, I think, and then see what's going on. to an African-American man. We are raising three African-American boys. I am not naive enough to believe that any one of mine could be the next hashtag. So this is personal to me. 
I'm not out here for politics. I'm out here because I'm looking for solutions. No peace. No police. Well, I am home. I feel like it's a new day. I totally fell asleep at acupuncture. It was a really good session. I also got a B12 injection, which is not only the most important prenatal vitamin, but it's also something that people who eat plant-based are likely to be deficient in. Um, and so that was great. It was just a really good session. I've been going like every four weeks now. Um, again, it wasn't, I initially went because of infertility, but when I was there, we were we talked about so many more things that could be attributed to that um, to why we weren't falling pregnant, and so we focused so much on my headaches and on my anxiety and just tension in my body overall. And if you have been thinking about doing acupuncture and you just haven't gone, this is your sign to just go because even if you don't have like pain that is. Um, really affecting you or infertility like us. There are so many good uses for acupuncture. And um, yeah, it's it's been a game changer and I really love my doctor. And um, I'm gonna keep, go keep on going forever. But the state of Orlando, when they do purchase anything from African Americans, the last two homes that they purchased, $12,500, $12,850. Who can buy another home with that? Nobody. So you don't get those stories. So let's keep on going, Mr. Dan. Tell me what community looks like. This is what community looks like. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. No justice. Police. No racist. Police. They might have built it, but it don't belong here. It don't belong in the middle of a street, in the middle of a community. It don't belong here. And we didn't want it here. But they did it anyway. So let's move on. And we just want to let everybody know, intimate domain, this property, you broke the law. But what you don't understand is the city also sold the fire station too and rebuilt it on Robinson just before you get to OBT for $45 million. So how much did this cost them? Sarah's coming to pick me up. Um, today was very informational. We had a gold medal Olympian who is a public school teacher, Dr. Phillips, talking about defunding the police, but the importance of reallocating that money towards public schools and social workers and not putting more cops in schools as she's worked in this area for 10 years and lived here for about 30. Um, had a lot of community leaders and people running for office to talk about what they're doing and what needs to get done. So very different day. Um, learned a whole lot, a whole lot, which is awesome because it's learning. It was learning about what the important part today was. We were learning about things that affect this community here in Orlando, on top of just the greater country as a whole. But more importantly, this area. What on earth is happening? Did my dog turn into a cat? She's never done this before. What is going on? She looks cozy. I'm gonna leave her. This is She's like why did the movie pause? Right. We're together. <laughs> Today was so weird. It was like the longest day, but productive. But also we weren't by each other. So we're gonna watch somebody feed Phil, even though I'm hungry. The city hall's not happening? Kibosh? 
Okay, so City Hall, there is a overnight, what are they calling it? An occupation. An occupation of the plaza um, with music and documentary being played on a screen and all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm torn about going with like social distancing. I'm going to show you the picture. So that might be on the table. Okay, we decided not to disturb Eve and just hang out at home. We haven't just had relaxing time today. So, Peter's making some tea and we're watching the London episode of Somebody Feed Phil. And it's already so good. And Fish and Chips was the first thing he showed and I just want to go to Epcot. Safely, of course. Phil was in love with Mary Poppins as a child. Who, who was your character crush? Phil. June 13th. When life is sweet, say thank you and celebrate. And when life is bitter, say thank you and grow. Shana Nequist. Sleepies. He was doing work. Naughty potty. But do you feel good afternoon today? Yeah, I have all of the major components needed on my program. I just have to do the little in-betweens to make it all fit together. Who should be in focus, me or you? You. <laughs> um, tomorrow's Father's Day. Tomorrow's Father's Day. So that's really exciting for this daddy-o and for my, I was pointing up Devin for my daddy-o. <laughs> it is good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> she loves a good Elbow pit. Is her tongue up? Yeah, but she just like because <sighs> you're making fun of her. No, never. <laughs> Good night. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm laying here. I'm like, let me just Google if tomorrow is Father's Day or not. It's Guess not. what? <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> We had all these plans for breakfast. For dinner. And I got I gave your dad's root beer really early. I thought it was only a couple of days. I'm drinking that one tomorrow. I know. For fake Father's Day. Um But if anyone if we confused anybody, I don't know how much we really talked about it, but we just laughed for like a solid five minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night and Happy not father.